Prime Minister Boris Johnson has backed calls for the Premier League to make a statement regarding the failed takeover of Newcastle United. Over 6,000 Newcastle United supporters trust members wrote to their local MPs who have also urged the Premier League for transparency. The lack of a decision from Richard Masters and the Premier League has robbed the club and the city of some serious investment by other prospective owners. The West End Food Bank has already been donated to by the Rubens brothers and they promised to invest in the city as well. So it's no longer just about football, which is why so many people have got behind the petition and other reasons. All the fans and the fan groups are pulling in the same direction. All we want is answers from the Premier League. And it's great to see celebrities like Anton Deck and now even the Prime Minister calling for a response from the Premier League, who have still to this day stayed silent on the matter. And they need to make some sort of statement explaining why they made no decision, why there was a delay in approving or even rejecting the new takeover. We've obviously had over 100,000 signatures on the petition and over 6,000 members have written to their MPs through the Newcastle United Supporters Trust. The effect that this has had um, is not just around football, but it's uh, uh, now a, a loss of investment in the infrastructure of the North East. Premier League can't be allowed to get away with this, so I just am overwhelmed with the support that Newcastle fans have come together and been able to demand answers through getting over 100,000 signatures on this petition. Boris Johnson has now made a statement and he's involved and now the Premier League cannot hide behind closed doors. I look forward to their statement, whether that's going to be something that we, uh, we uh, are going to be happy with is another question, but at least we can now look forward to essentially moving on from what's become a huge um, charade, again due to the Premier League's incompetence.